let's learn more about how to create and use access control policies within Terramind. Access control policies allow you to customize and control exactly what monitoring features your dashboard users can see, as well as the exact individual user information they will have access to. Within Terramind, access control is implemented through policies. You can create as many policies as you would like and apply them to individuals, managers or directors, and departments. To set up your access control policies, go to configure on the left and then select access control. To create a new access control policy, click the new policy button on the top right. Here you can name the policy and add the users that the policy will apply to. After you create your access control policies, you can access the policies themselves to add the permissions and targeted users below by clicking on the name of the policy. Under the policy column, you will see the name of the policy. Under the privileges to column, you can see the Terramine users that the policy applies to. And under the subjects description column, you will be able to see the monitored users that the privileged users will be able to see within the dashboard. Let's click on the name of the policy you have created in order to edit the features that the privileged users will have access to and the targeted monitored users within the policy. At the top, click the edit button to edit the policy. You can change or update the name of the policy under the policy name heading and adjust the privileged users the policy will apply to in the privileges to box. Scrolling down the page, the next step is to select the targets, meaning users, that the privileged users will have access to see the monitoring data for when they log into Terramind. You can use the search bar to search for specific individuals or scroll down the page to find the employees you are looking for. To add the employee as a target to this access control policy, click the checkbox on the left hand side of their name. If you have departments configured within Terramind, you can also add all of the users within the department as targeted users within this policy by clicking the checkbox next to the department name. You can also click the Select All Targets button at the top of the list to select all of the employees on the list or click the button again to deselect all of the users on the list at once. After you've selected the targets that will be included within this policy, you can select the permissions that the privileged users will have access to within the dashboard. Over on the left hand side of the screen, under the permissions heading, you can scroll down through the list of permissions below and click the checkbox next to any of the feature options to customize the exact features you would like for your privileged users to have access to when they log into Terramind. The options under the play category pertain to the session player feature, which allows the users to see the target screen recordings. The permissions under the view category pertain to the ability to be able to view the monitoring data captured on the user's machines in a report form, such as the BI report feature, behavior alert notifications, and the ability to view and create dashboards. The permissions under the edit category include the ability to edit shared lists under the shared list feature under configure and shared lists, and the ability to edit the target employee's work hours under the schedules feature. Finally, the permissions listed under the Access Widgets category pertain to the exact widgets that the privileged users will be able to see and edit within the Dashboards feature. Please note that some of these permissions are interlinked and one might not work without the other. For example, if you enable the View and Create Custom Dashboards permission, but do not enable any of the widgets under the Access Widgets Permissions category, then the privileged users will not be able to add any widgets to their custom dashboards. Similarly, the view permissions for various individual reports also determine what BI report and BI data sources will be available. For example, if you disable the view productivity report permission, it will hide the entire BI productivity report, and it will also hide the input activity and work time data sources when you are trying to add a widget on a BI report. If you disable the view permission on any report, any existing BI widgets that rely on that report will show an access denied message or just show the data for the logged in privileged user. To see a full description of each optional permission listed, check out the link below to the detailed list in our knowledge base. After you have configured the exact permissions you would like for your privileged users to have access to, make sure to click the orange save changes button at the bottom of the page. You can also delete an access control policy back up at the top by clicking the orange delete button. If you need to export this information to use outside of Terramind, you can do so by clicking the export to CSV button to the right of the delete button. You will see a pop up on your screen that will ask you to input the names of the targeted users you would like to include in the report, 
and the exact columns you would like to include as well. The report will show the name of the policy that the targeted user is included in, the name of the privileged user or users within the policy, and any of the targeted users you have decided to include in the report under the objects field. It will also include the list of permissions within the policy and include a number one in the box of any of the permissions you have turned on for the privileged user. Back on the main access controls page, you can also click the export to CSV button at the top next to the new policy button to export the information for all of the policies you have created. Once you have created all of the policies you would like to include, you can search for the name of the policy or search for the name of a privilege user or target user if you need to quickly see what policy an employee has been added to.